Hello, welcome to the Quicker Sim CFD Toolbox for MATLAB tutorial number 19. In this tutorial we will show you how to perform turbulent flow simulation based on a heat ventilation and air conditioning benchmark. Let's just have a general idea of the problem that we want to solve. Actually, HVAC, which stands for heat ventilation air conditioning, is a pretty common case in engineering and there has been a benchmark setup. The reference is given here, specification to dimensional test case from 1990 and what was happening, there was an experiment in a geometry such as this one where the inflow of air was on the left, there was like a large back forward facing step, air got turbulized in here and that was the outflow. So we want to compare 2D simulation results to those experimental data and uh, 2D geometry is shown in this picture. So that's the inlet on the left and that's the outlet on the right together with material walls denoted as 16. The simulations will be performed with an algebraic Chen Shu turbulence model that has already been introduced in other tutorials. Okay, so let's go. First, we import the mesh and we also extrude boundary layers on that which is pretty common for turbulence simulations. And let's just have a look how it turns out. So yes, that's the geometry. You can see that there is boundary layer extruded by our extra functions in here. After that things are pretty standard, so we define the fluid, that's simply kinematic viscosity of air. We set the convergence criteria, we do not set them strict because actually that's like a pretty small case that we are solving in here. We compute the wall distance because that's necessary for the turbulence model. We make the copy of U array to US because we'll be using that for under relaxation with alpha equal to 0.6. We set very coarse, that is like piston velocity profile 0.4504 and we move to our main iterative loop. The iterative loop is also pretty standard, so for turbulent flows we calculate the turbulence viscosity, Chen Shu model, we use some under relaxation for our field, assemble Navier-Stokes matrix 2D with modified viscosity by turbulent viscosity we'll obviously be using some sort of uh, stabilization. We impose the inlet velocity and the wall, no slip boundary condition, compute the residual walls, check if converged, and iterate the problem. Once the simulations have converged, we visualize the velocity field and we also extract some velocity profiles to compare it to reference data. Okay. So, let's give it a try. The convergence procedure starts. And we can patiently wait. Okay, the solution is converged. Let's move to visualize the results. First, let's have a look at the velocity field. Evaluate selection. There it goes in here. So obviously the largest velocity is at the inlet, which is really narrow. And then we can observe the recirculation zones, which have negative velocity in the surface frame partially. Here. So that's what we can observe. So that's the physics in here. So in order to compare the results to the reference data, we just have to extract the velocity profiles using the function extract data along line, passing the coordinates of the ends of the line and the uh, numbers of points and extra indices. We load the experimental data from the files that are supplied with this tutorial. 
and we generate extra figures with uh, some extra settings, le legends, labels, and so on. That's just lots of technical details of MATLAB plotting. That's why you have this tutorial. Okay, so let's have a look how it performs. Okay. So those are two lines, three meters and six meters from the inlet. And uh, yeah, experiment are red circles, crosses are simulations. So yeah, the agreement, I would say it's fair. It's fair enough. Mind in fact, a few issues here. First of all, that's referring to the experimental data, not some sort of benchmark simulation. Second, the simulation is performed on a really coarse grid with a really basic turbulence model. So, yeah, that would be really nice if it was perfect, but it's not. But anyway, that it demonstrates that the agreement is pretty good. So as a first shot, you could use such a simple turbulence model that comes with our toolbox. Okay, great. So, yeah, that's more or less all for now. We hope that you enjoyed. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, go to our tutorials, get a tutorial from our website and see you next time.